All right, you dudes obliterated that last like target. I asked for 500 and you almost gave me 900, man. Insane. So we're going to keep the trend going while trying not to bite off a shady penguin too much. But if this video, I'm going to raise the bar a little bit. If this video gets 700 likes, then you get another music review right after it, man. I don't, I don't know if you guys are up for the challenge or not. I mean, you got to let me know. I know I'm raising the bar a little bit higher, but you you blew me away. You kind of showed me what, what how much you really want to see this. So that's the thing 700 likes on this video a new music review out the same day. Let's do it, baby What's going on guys Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more of our Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire music highlight where we look at music from Ruby and Sapphire analyze what's the best of the best and what we're the most hyped to hear in the new remakes coming out in November now the winner of this well, it wasn't randomly, but rather it was through upvotes, is Poke Resort. And the Poke Resort, he's actually a long-time follower on my channel. Go check him out. Really cool dude. Thanks for following me so long, man. And, you know, I appreciate you dealing with all my crap. Anyways, the Poke Resort comes through talking about Route 110 and suggest a remix as well. You can do the same as well. Comment the music you want me to review and highlight from Ruby and Sapphire, and in a remix along with it. And, you know, we'll, we'll look at that. We'll get hyped for the game, you know, and everyone's happy. So. Route 110, I have no idea, I, well, I know what it is, obviously, but I just don't remember what it sounded like, because it's been a very long time since I've, you know, listened to the music in Ruby and Sapphire, so, let's see what we've got on our plates here, and um, I can't wait to hear the remix that he has as well, it's, something's telling me it's going to be real interesting if it looks like this, but, <laughs> okay, let's go, Route 110. Oh, this is a classic, man, but the, this is... <laughs> wow, man. Yeah, man, this, they have to. Oh, man. Hitting me hard, man. <laughs> Why am I getting a... <laughs> oh, man. Damn, man. A lot of good memories, man. Damn. You know, it's something. You know, like, my childhood wasn't even that far, like, long time ago. You know, it was like, it wasn't even that long ago, man. My, I'm only 24 years old, so it's not like it was, you know, eons ago that I played Ruby and Sapphire. But just, like, just listening to that song, you know. You know, that was the major song in most of the roots. So, I mean, you would always hear it. And I just have so many memories connected to it. Like, I used to stay in GameStop and read the um, strategy guides for different games, even if I didn't own them, because I didn't really have too many games as a kid. But I would just sit there and read strategy guides for all these games and just, like, be like, wow, I can't wait till I can, like, buy games for myself, you know, and that way I can, you know, entertain myself by all these cool looking games, but I was kind of always left out, because I never really had too many consoles or anything, but, um, yeah, just, the, the, the memories from that song, man, oh, man, yeah, sorry I'm getting all emotional on camera and shit, it's just, yo, man, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I didn't realize it as much until now, they're playing with a lot of memories, man, they have to make sure that they make this the most dynamic Pokemon experience that they've made yet, because, they, they had, this game, man, there's a lot of memories connected to it, even though it isn't my earliest Pokemon game. This is sort of my adolescence, in a sense, you know? Like, you know, Gold and Silver was my childhood, Red and Blue was my early childhood, but, um, Ruby and Sapphire, man, this is, this is me in, like, you know, um, this is me in middle school right now, you know? So, yeah, I, I really think they're gonna blow it out the water, though. If anything, they'll also probably add some more sequences to make the song longer as well in the remake. So, either way, I don't expect anything less from them. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 because this is probably one of the most memorable songs from this game, and I highly doubt they're going to mess it up. They're going to put all the effort that they can into this. You, you better, because right now, you got a lot of people's childhoods being flared up again, like mine just was, you know? That was very emotional coming from me. Anyways, we're going into the remix that the Poker Resort suggested, and I have no idea what we're going into, to an extent, but I know the whole Quad City DJs thing, but whatever. He suggested it, so we have to go with it. But I highly doubt this is going to be an Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Everybody get up, Why would do this? <laughs> we got a real jam going down. 
Welcome to the Space Jam. It's your chance to do your dance on the Space Jam. Alright. How's this gonna work? It's <laughs> retarded! It's funky, that's the stupid part. This actually sounds correct. And welcome to the jam. Hey, come <laughs> Hey, you. Oh, I know it's gonna do that part. This actually goes really well. Alright, so if you don't understand the basis of this, this is a somewhat old meme that ran around for a while because you can mix the lyrics from Space Jam with any other song in existence and they'll come out sounding really good. I don't know why, but it's kind of like gospel in a sense. Rock it, knock it down the room, shake it, quake it, space kaboom. Now work that body, work that body, make sure you don't hurt nobody. I made like two of these in the past, but they weren't to any songs that were memorable. It was, um, it was to a song in a game called Boktai, and I made one to, um, I made one to some other song, I just can't remember. It was a long time ago. This meme is pretty old, it's pretty old, so. Space Jam, all right. Wave your hands in the air if you feel fine. We're gonna take it into overtime. Welcome to the Space Jam. Miss your chance, do your dance on the Space Jam. All right. But all right, we, we get the point at this point. But yeah, it's pretty funny. I actually am subscribed to a music channel which only puts out Quad City DJ Space Jam um, hybrids. It's called Gardakuno. So it's a name kind of taken from Pokemon. But yeah, this dude named Gardakuno, and he makes all these songs that are mixed with the Quad City DJ's theme. So if we go search his name, he should definitely pop up. Yeah, Gardakuno. And it's usually songs that are kind of like hardcore. And, you know, it's interesting because he does do the Space Jam thing, but he also does mixing like heavy rap with um, kawaii music and I love rap and kawaii music so this guy is one of my favorite channels all all time just because this is one of his mixes this is one of his mixes now that is kawaii spot yeah, I'm serious. Cats don't know what it's gonna be fucking with a nigga like me. D to the M to the X. Last I heard, y'all niggas was having sex with the same sex. 